First I use found um, primer and I'm using Makeup Designery Face Primer. Uh, it's pretty good and they sent it to me and this is what I mainly use for primer. Okay, so I use a different foundation. I don't use the um, the Vichy one anymore. Right now I use the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus. It's a little dirty. But I bought it at Sephora last November and my shade is number 35. Oh yeah, this is what I use. It comes out like this. And it's an oil-free formula, and I really, really, really like it. And it's water-resistant, too. And it makes me really even. So this is a stippling brush from my friend Anna. She made this brush. And I like to her to her channel that's in the underbar. So I just dip it in. Dipple it on my face. Stippling brushes are the best for foundation, in my opinion. You notice that it's covering up my most of my minor I have really oily skin. I usually don't wear liquid foundation during the summer because that's really disgusting because I sweat a lot during the summer and it just is going to melt off my face. So I usually just wear concealer and powder. So I just... You notice that it... It's a really nice even coverage. Um, sometimes I build it up during the winter or if I'm going somewhere special, but for now this is enough. Because sometimes you notice that some people, their the color in the face doesn't match their neck. That's because they choose a foundation that's too light and they don't blend it in and it looks really unnatural. A foundation brush. This is the MAC 190 brush. And I'm going to take my Makeup Designery Corrector Palette. I won this for the Best Face Forward contest. And I really like it because of the variety of corrector things it has. Um, they're fairly expensive and this is for my kit. Like I would use it on other people too. That's why I needed all of these. It's not all just for me. Okay, so I'm taking part of this green because on the color wheel green is opposite of red. So green will cancel out some of the redness. And redness is one of my major problems. So, you'll see some of it's around my chin, around here, or a bit around my nose and underneath my eyes. And I learned this trick from Kenny Johnson for um, under eye concealer. You do a triangle shape. So that's one part of the triangle. And another part, and here. So, this triangular area you fill in with concealer and it really, when you blend it in properly, it really brightens up that area. We'll compare this side of the face to this side. Oh, and don't overdo it on the concealer or else you're gonna look make look really really cakey. Alternatively for under eye concealer I use Max Select Cover Up. And my shade is NW25. My My um, foundation shade is NC30, so I go a bit lighter and I the NWs have a more warmer tones to them. Okay, so you'll notice that I have a little bit of shininess still. So I use my MAC blot powder just to set everything. I usually use a stippling brush too. So I'm just going to use one that I used before. I have two stippling brushes. 
and I'm just gonna s swirl it in. Let's pull it on. So with blush, I use this Makeup Designer um, 710 S brush. It's really good for blush. And the cheek color in Glow. It's kind of like NARS Orgasm. So, yeah. So you kind of want to hit the top and then sweep it up here. And this lip stain from Korea, it's called Red Carpet Star Sweet Lip Tint by Nature Republic. And it comes in this red file. Looks like you put too much blush on, you can just brush over it with a clean brush or something that has your foundation on it. Okay, so for contouring, I also learned on YouTube how to contour um, in, from Gregory Gorgeous. And this is my main bronzer. It's organic wear bronzer by Physicians Formula, and I use the one for medium skin. Yeah, I love this. It's my favorite. And I have, this is the brush that it comes with. It's made out of goat hair. Um, it looks like a shitty brush, but it actually does a pretty good job. So, I make the fish face. And you see this on? That's where you apply the color. But don't do too much. Oh, and make sure that you don't do too much because um, the bronzer oxidizes. So it actually gets darker as you wear it. So even though it may not look like much, it's going to look like a lot later. So. Brush down. Brush back. And make sure you gradually get darker as you reach this area. Because that will give a believable, uh, a believable highlight. So this is um, Mac and Roy Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. It's really pretty. Use a brush over my fingers. I'm just getting my fingers, and you want to hit the top of the cheek and blend it in. And so this part. Not this part, because that is going to look fake. So we'll just put it here. And add it to the brow. The highest part of the brow. So I'm going to the forehead, but I don't because that looks weird. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.